guys, Mike the Vike here, back for you in another video. This time around, we're doing another Rust update. This seems to be like the one kind of video that I can, I can actually make somewhat consistently. And I really like making it because it's not that hard to make and it's interesting, it's formative, I enjoy making it. It's just all positive, good things and sunny days indeed. This week, to some of you, may not seem like much of a big update in terms of like items and stuff like that. But the things that were changed are actually awesome, and they seem to be making a few steps in the right direction for the following weeks. Anyways, first things first, biggest thing in my eyes is they improved server performance drastically. Uh, one of the issues that I had with, that I've had with Rust for a very long time, and one of the reasons I stopped playing Legacy, one of the main reasons in fact, the hackers didn't matter, is the player movement was so laggy it was near impossible to, sh to shoot people because they would just just teleport around and it was it became more of a luck thing than a CSGO like super intense really nice solid PvP game and uh, that's what attracted me to Rust initially was just the really good combat and now it certainly seems that people are a lot smoother as you can see super smooth so now it'll be definitely a lot more skill based than just luck which is Excellent. This will make combat a lot better and less of a guess. Okay, so second thing that got implemented. These are cool. I like it. It's just a nice addition are these walls. These are stone walls and these are wood ones. So basically in the past people would make their own walls like this kind of and then they would have their base in the middle and that worked but really it would be better if there was just a standard high wall. So now that's in and it's quite cool. There's two variations, there's the stone and the wood. The advantage to the wood, although it's weaker in, like, health, it's got the barbed wire on the top, which means it's harder for ladders to get through. You'll see there's a point where you start taking bleeding damage and you slow down, just like uh, on the spikes, like these, you slow down. Same thing. The advantage with the stone wall is it's got way more health, like double, but you can still scale it with a ladder fairly easily. Anyways, cool addition. Looks nice, it'll make bases look a lot more sophisticated, and uh, I like it. Radiation got temporarily removed from all rad towns, and this may not seem like a big deal, but I think it's one of those step in the right direction things. You could say I'm taking no rads. I like this because honestly, rad towns are sort of useless right now, really. You don't see many people going into it because, y you know, you'll just die instantly and common clothing isn't common enough and so on and so forth. Oh. Oh. They also made a lot of things, a lot of small gameplay changes. Oh, like, for example, really annoys me and ruins my day, okay? So, I used to, like, have a good time where I would just go like this. I would, like, shoot, and then shoot, and then... But, except, now there's a delay. So, I basically made, like, a semi-auto shotgun by having six pipe shotguns in my inventory, and I could just spam them out real quick, and it was awesome. And uh, they've they've taken that away from me. They've taken my, away my rights, and uh, it's very saddening. So you now have to wait for the gun to be fully deployed before you can shoot it. I cry every time, but I guess it's it's for the better, unfortunately. They added a wind turbine, and although it, it's you can't spawn it in as a regular player, like you can't find it, but admins can spawn it in, and it's a cool like sneak peek at what's going to happen to the future in Rust because the purpose of this thing is to generate power, which is pretty interesting. I, I was trying to place it, but I uh, failed miserably. I don't think you actually can place it. I thought you could place it on these, but unfortunately not. Anyways, it'll be cool to see this in-game. Generate power. That'll be neat. So, they've added one item, basically. One new piece of clothing, which is the baseball cap with all its various variations in the color. Oh my god. And they've also opened up the Steam Workshop so that players can... or designers can now create their own clothing and it'll now go into the process of uh, us voting for what we want and then the developers choosing okay does this fit into the environment of rust and then they'll add it to the game same idea as CSGO with the skins that the community makes skins and then they go into the game eventually server performance and the walls are basically the two things that got added this week but I still wanted to make the update video because yeah I think they're still important and if you haven't tried rust in a while, certainly try it out because the server performance is a big deal in my eyes and uh, I'll definitely be playing it some more because it'll make it cooler. This was, as you might already know, recorded on my Rust server if you want to play. Uh, feel free to do so. I think I'll put an IP in the description but just modded category. Search Viking and uh, you're ready to go. 
Anyways, guys, that is a really, 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 really quick update video. Now, let me know if you enjoy the Rust update videos, even when the updates aren't as significant. Like, this is just a short but sweet Rust update. Normally, I would probably wait for the following week, but you guys actually sounded like you wanted these weekly. Plus, it's a good excuse to make a video, and it's better to be at least somewhat active. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this Rust update video. If you enjoyed, do all the usual things. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.